closer look to the individual sounds, the individual drums. Uh, here I have a kick drum. So yeah, again, this plugin, it's amazing. You can control like any detail uh, in the sound. It's really cool, kick two, um, yeah. Um, I used a little bit of compression with very fast attack in order to control the transients uh, of uh, this sound. I could also use a transient designer. It was too uh, snappy. So basically, you know, I'm trying to control like the, 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 the really the first, first milliseconds uh, of the sound. Little bit of EQ. Again, rem removing the muddiness and, uh, and the high end was too snappy probably. Yeah, and the very, very, very low end. I removed the sub actually. That's interesting because when you cut, when you use this curve, the elliptic six on the Cambridge EQ, uh, the filter curve is very sharp and you create a little bump at the frequency at the starting point. So that's very, that's very interesting. It creates, I kind of emphasize the um, fundamental note of the kick drum. It's cool. Make it sharp. Um, closed the hi-hats. So removing um, probably a resonance here, yeah. Decapitator, decapitator, uh, it's a distortion. And um, yeah, distortion is really interesting because it's um, a different way to EQ a sound without using EQ. Um, if you want to uh, remove or to add high frequencies, for instance, you can use different kind of distortions and it has a different effect. So here, without distortion, and with distortion, you, you hear like all the how the how the high end is uh, more um, organic and pleasant to the ear with a little bit of distortion. Another, another high end. A ride. So this is really behind. Again, yeah, again, a little bit of side chain compression and uh, it's more for the groove. I like when the, the, the ride is like kind of uns answering um, to the kick drum, you know, like to have this kind of movement. Uh, eight to eight tom. Once again, not so much processing, just a little bit of a cue. Uh, and what is that? Oh, yeah. It's not a drum, but I put it within the um, drum group because I wanted to process it and to compress it with the drum. So I put it with the drums. And if I play the group, So yeah, that's, that's a stab. That's a stab from the JD800, heavily processed here. If I remove the processing, that's, that's the original sound. I filtered it and bit crush. That's the drums all together. When I solo the drum group, you can hear that is not so much processing happening. It's really raw. <laughs> 